Hi, welcome to Stories with Miss Susie. I'm so glad you're here today. So there is this magazine that we really love and it's called The Friend. And we get a new one every month. And so usually one night a week we'll have a night that we call Family Night. And that's a night where we are just together as a family and we usually will read a story or some kind of um, have some kind of a short lesson and then we'll do a little activity and maybe have a treat or something at the end. So anyway, every month we get a new friend magazine and our family night stories usually come from this magazine because it has some really fun stories in it. And so a few nights ago we had our family night and I read this story to the kids and they really liked it. And um, they said that it's been something that they've been thinking about ever since we we did that. So I thought this would be a fun story to read. We read this together. And we made two can phones. Yeah, so after the story, we're going to show you guys how to make your own soup can phones because they're really fun. Okay, so one summer morning, Elizabeth saw a big moving van pull up in front of the house next door. New neighbors, wouldn't it be fun if they had someone her age? Later that day, while Elizabeth was playing croquet by herself in the front yard, she saw a car pull up next door. A man and a woman got out of the car, and then a girl with bright red hair got out. She looked just the right age. Elizabeth ran over to meet her. The new girl's name was Becky. Elizabeth smiled at her, and Becky smiled back. I'm playing croquet, Elizabeth said. Do you want to come play? Um, well, I've never played it before, Becky said shyly. Elizabeth smiled and held out a croquet ball. Want to learn? Becky nodded and ran over to play. From then on, Elizabeth and Becky were always together. During the day, they played and ate snacks in their clubhouse. At night, they sat by their bedroom windows and yelled to each other so they could keep talking. One night, as the girls were yelling back and forth, Elizabeth's older brother stopped by her room. Do you know what you two need? He said. Soup can phones. What are those? Elizabeth asked. All you do is connect two cans with some string. You can you run the string between the windows and then you don't have to yell. He promised to help them set it up tomorrow. What a sweet brother. That's so nice. The next night, Elizabeth and Becky had their first soup can phone conversation. The rest of the summer was filled with playing tennis, Picking, um, picnicking in the park, roller skating, and playing more croquet. And, of course, every night they talked using their soup can phones. All too soon, summer turned to fall. With homework, dance lessons, and swimming lessons, they didn't get to see each other as much as they did during the summer. But almost every night they sat by their windows and talked using their soup can phones. They talked about lots of things. If Elizabeth had a hard day at school, she told Becky all about it. And if Becky had good news to share, she always told Elizabeth. One day, Becky left for her grandma's funeral. She didn't know how long she would be gone. I'll miss you, Elizabeth said. Mm -hmm. Becky nodded and hugged her goodbye. That night, after saying her prayers and getting in bed, Elizabeth couldn't sleep. She missed talking to her friend. A thought came to her. Why not pray? She prayed every night before going to bed, but besides, she had already said her prayer that night. But the thought came again. Pray. Pray as if you're really talking to Heavenly Father. And so she got on her knees again and she prayed. Only this time, she didn't just repeat what she usually said. This time, she really talked about how she felt about things, small things and some big things. 
Prayer isn't just a bunch of words you say, Elizabeth thought as she climbed back into bed. Prayer could be like a real conversation, like her soup can conversations with Becky. In her prayers, Elizabeth started talking about things that had happened to her earlier in the day. She talked about her problems and her feelings. She felt like she had found another friend. Elizabeth was glad when Becky finally came home. That night, they had their usual soup can phone conversation. And later, just before she went to bed, Elizabeth had another special conversation with her Heavenly Father. And so we thought that story was really great because sometimes when we're having our prayers, we um, kind of get in the habit of saying the same thing all the time. And we forget that we're really talking to someone, and not just someone, but someone that loves us and knows us very well. And so um, this story was a good reminder to us that when we pray, talk to Heavenly Father like he's our friend because that's what he is. And so um, we're going to show you how to make some soup can phones because they're really fun. Did we make some, Layla? Did it work? Yeah, you could really hear each other talking through it. Yeah, and what did you think about the story? I think it was really nice. You thought it was nice? Yeah, it was a good story, huh? Oh, we went ahead and made our soup can phones. <laughs> Layla is, is going to help me demonstrate how to use them. And me. And Benson, of course. And, and I have my and Lincoln's here to help. Huh? Say hi, guys. We're going to talk on our soup can phone. Even I'm rolling my <laughs> hem and that helps stuff not fall off of my head that I can find. I am. Perfect. Okay, so this is what they look like when they're done. We just took two cans of soup, or but it could be yeah. any, any kind of can. Hold on. You can hold them for a sec. Or I can hold them either way. Oh, Say hi, guys. Okay, he's going to help me show you. Was that funny? Yeah. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, so you take any kind of can and wash it out so that it's clean on the inside. And then we just took a screwdriver and we poked a hole in the top of this. So have your mom or dad help you do that. And then we, we found this white string that you can see here that Lincoln is showing us. Are you showing us the string? Yeah. <laughs> and so we put the string through the can and then just tied a knot in it. Okay, Layla, go ahead and take the other can there. Okay, Layla is gonna go outside and I'll be inside and she's gonna talk to us and I'll put the speaker up to the can and see if we can hear her. So one thing we figured out is you have to have your string straight. It can't be like bending around a corner because then it interrupts the vibrations that make the noise. Okay, whoa. Okay, slowly walk out. We'll unreal this. And I'll walk backwards. Okay, there we go. Okay, she's going to talk to us. <laughs> now we'll talk to her. Yes, this is me. Is this you? Yes, this is me. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> My cat. Put it on your ear. <laughs> okay, can you hear me talking, Layla? I just wanted to tell you, I love you. She loves me too, but she says she's weird. <laughs> so anyway, this is this is how you make soup can phones. They're so easy and super fun. I'm saying it turn? out there. Okay, have a turn. You like the pretty little. 
Oh, he says her eyes are pretty and she says he's handsome. <laughs> okay, so have your own soup can fun. Go home and, you know, get the supplies. It's super easy. It only takes a minute to do it. It's really worth it. So um, come back next week, subscribe on our channel, click on the thumbs up, and every week we're going to have a new story. Usually I'll have an activity to go with it or a song or something, but um, anyway, have an awesome week. We'll see you later. Bye.